Mmm, smells so good. Pew pew! Today I'm going to show you how to make small raviolis. So basically this is into two parts. One is to actually make the raviolis, and the other part will be making the white chocolate glaze that will go on top of it. So let's get started making our raviolis. So basically, so basically what you're going to want to do is either make dough from scratch or I just prefer using store-bought um, pie dough. So what I have here is leftover pie dough that I used for another project. So we'll do. Let's pull it out here and we'll roll it out. So basically what you're going to want to do to make these raviolis is I recommend a um, dumpling press, the smallest one they make. And on the back is a cutter so you can have the circle fit exactly where you want the dumpling to sit. So um, start here. I'll make two or three of these for you guys. Like I always say, don't waste dough. If you have any scrap dough, save it for later or re-roll it out and you can create more of these raviolis if you need to. So what I've done is cut out three circles. Uh, you can always cut out more. You can make as many raviolis as you want. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm just making three for right now. So once you have your circles cut, what you'll want to do is when you seal them, you're going to want to seal them with... Um, I like to seal mine with the egg wash. So what we're going to do now is we'll make the wash real quick. So what you need is one egg white. And just a splash of water. And we'll Mix that all up and set that to the side. All right, let's start stuffing our raviolis. So what you want to do is you want to take your raviolis, place it on top of your um, dumpling press. And what makes these small raviolis? Well, it's pretty common sense. It's going to be marshmallows as your cheese and the chocolate chips as a different kind of cheese or your meat, whatever. We're stuffing these with chocolate and marshmallows is basically the point I'm trying to say. And the ratio of marshmallows to chocolate chips is all on your own because some people might like more marshmallow than chocolate chips or vice versa. So play with the ratio, whatever works for you works for me. Thanks. So chocolate chips here and we'll just garnish graciously okay and everything's in the center there so now we're gonna take our egg wash we don't need a lot just a little bit and then just rub around the edges and I got too much in there so I have to take some stuff out And then cramp. And when you un, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Beautiful. Basically, I just have some extra dough here I'm just gripping off. So, slowly. Oh, look at that. I am excited. Are you excited? Alright, so let's repeat the process for the next two. Alright, now that we've made our dumplings, before we put them in the fire, let's go ahead and make our sauce that we're going to put on top of them. Dump. And I know I switch back and forth between dumpling and ravioli. You can call it either way because it's a mix between both. So, let's make the sauce. So basically what you're going to want to do to make the sauce is turn your stove onto low heat. Just enough to get it warm so you can melt all the sugar. And we're going to add a fourth a cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla. 
kind of just stir all that together. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to start adding two cups of confection or sugar. And continue to stir till all powdered sugar is dissolved. And once it's all dissolved, that's how you make your glaze. Alright, now that we've made the sauce and we've cleaned up the area, now it's time to fry these son of a guns. So what you want to do is put them in the fryer basket. You're going to want to make sure that they don't burn on either side, so you might have to flip them occasionally. But while we're waiting for those to cook, let's go ahead and get our plate ready. So basically what we'll do is take some of the sauce we made, all this. Because we want this to look legit. Looking good! Looking good! And be careful not to break or else you'll have marshmallow and stuff everywhere. We're almost done. Uh, one little thing too you might want to do after you've glazed them is just put a little bit more powdered sugar, depending on how much your sweet tooth is. Alright. Basically keep an eye on them, and when they get close to being golden brown, that's when they're good to go. They're just about there. Oh, and they're done. And with the power of magic, we're done, and we're exploded a little bit, but we're here. Alright, so what we're going to do is take a plate. That's not good. Alright, so now that they're done, we're going to take our glaze sauce and we're just going to graciously give them a bath. Mmm, smells so good. So once you have them plated, garnish with a little bit of powdered sugar. And you're ready to enjoy. So once you've let them cool just a little bit, now it's time to enjoy. So, hmm. oh my gosh, these are so good. Look in there. Look at that. You see that? It's like a s'more. Well, it is a s'more. So good. So a little hot, but good. And there you have it. We made s'more ravioli slash dumpling type deals. Dumpling graviolas. Either way, they're good. They're delicious. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.